This is the Faces Project. I'm going to show you how to take two pictures, one such as a piece of fruit, the other one such as a picture of someone making a face, and place them together so that they look as if they are one. Here, let's go ahead and start with moving both the pictures together. I'll start with the woman. I'll choose a movement tool. I'll slide her up. Holding the mouse down still, I slide it back and I release. That gives me both layers on the same uh, document. I no longer need her face at this point and I'm going to show you how to blend them together. The first thing is I'm going to drop the opacity down using the slider until I can see both her and I can also see the fruit. As I look, she's a little bit large, so I'm going to transform her face down by going to Edit, to Free Transform. I could have simply set, said Control T on the keyboard. And from here, I'll grab the corner. To keep her proportional, I'll hold the Shift key down as I do this. And I will start to move this to the point where I think it's going to go well. I want her eyebrows on this one, I think, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm almost to the point where I'm happy. That looks pretty good. I'll hit the Enter key. That will lock it in place. And now I'm ready to take and erase everything that I don't need off of her picture. So I'll simply take my eraser. I have the layer chosen that has her on it, and I will take and I will erase. I've got to be careful, Control Z. I want to leave her eyebrows in. I want to leave her face in. So I'm getting rid of everything that I don't need. And then I'll get, once I get close, then we'll finish off the, the project. I do want to get her mouth, her nose, and her lips in there. And I can come back and I can make some final uh, changes in a little bit. And as of right now, this will work quite well. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to, I'll get rid of the rest of this uh, picture, is I want to bring my opacity back up because I'm going to be working with her and trying to make her approximately the same shade as the uh, lime here. So I'll go underneath uh, Image, Adjustments, and I'll choose Color Balance. As I start moving my levels, I know that I need more green. I can see that easily. So I'm going to start adding some more green to this picture. I'll start playing with these to see what color might make it look close to what I'm looking for. Let's see what happens if I mess with the yellow. Doesn't look too good, so I'll stick around and I'll go with something that looks just about like this. I'll say OK. If you notice over here on the layers, you'll see that it says Normal. I'm going to change it to the first one, the Dissolve. I don't really want that, but what I'm going to do is roll my mouse uh, scroll and as I roll it, you can see that it's changing to the different choices. And I'm going to look and see, as it gets close to a color that I think I might want, I can stop. If something doesn't look better than a normal, I'll go back to that. That luminosity. I think that that's the ticket right there. On yours, it might be something different, but I'm going to click right there. I'm going to get rid of the rest of the uh, picture that's in the, in the background. And now at this point, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see. I'm going to use a Control Plus. Control Plus allows me to get in there and see what I'm doing. And I'm going to choose the eraser. I'm going to pick a brush. The brush I'm going to choose is going to be a round brush that is soft. Doesn't matter what size, I'm going to adjust that in a minute anyway. 
Now I'll click into the picture. I have a soft brush. I change my flow right at the top center so that I'm somewhere around 30% or so. 29, 30, somewhere in there. And what my objective here is is to get my brush at about the right size that I can start to remove what I don't want. By doing this soft brush, making sure that this layer is chosen, the one that I have this on, I can start to blend her right in. Instead of it being a harsh, sharp edge, it will be a softer edge. And whenever I erase, I will expose the bottom area. So you can see it's starting to change the look of this. And it's going to take me just a minute to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do it fairly quickly for the sake of the video's time because I don't want to have to stop it and start it again. But you can see that she's starting to blend in quite well. I'm going to bump my flow up to about 50% or so just to make this faster for the uh, demonstration. But when I'm doing it on my own, I generally go slower so that I can uh, work this out. Now I, I don't want to have everything on there, so I'm going to ch have to change my brush size in just a moment. I want to get this very close so it looks like it's part of the fruit, but I don't want to get into the lip. I'll change my brush, brush size, I'll make it smaller. I'm pressing the left bracket button on my keyboard that will reduce the size of the brush so that I can come in and I can change the way that the brush looks. Now I'm getting someplace. Undo, I didn't like getting the edge of that nose. So I had to go back and redo it. You may have to do the same thing as you're working on it. Still need to go a little bit smaller on the brush to be able to get in between the eyebrow area. So again, the left bracket, you may have to do this until you find that you're getting what you're looking for. Almost finished. I'm going to call her eyes done underneath here for the nose. We're just about finished with it. Kind of shape the edge of that and there you go. That's all there is to it. Save it as a JPEG and turn it in. Thank you.